Green Tree Productions is proud to present Duncanville Weekly News. It's the good news just for the city of champions, Duncanville, Texas. And now, here's your host, John Thompson. Hello world, America, Texas, and Duncanville, and welcome to this edition of Duncanville Weekly News for the middle of March 2018. Glad you're logged on and watching. Well, it's baseball time in Texas and in Duncanville, and this week we'll premiere the Panther Dugout Show for the 26th or 27th year. But first, the Pantherettes held their season-ending banquet, and here are some highlights. The Pantherettes held their banquet this year in the Sandra Meadows Memorial Arena on the Phil McNeely Court to a big turnout. After Coach Kathy Self Morgan introduced special guests, Coaches Stephanie Cooper and Destiny Castillo introduced the freshman blue and the freshman red teams. Jocelyn Shaw. Hello. Thank you. I'm going to place it in where else my life has been very fun and enjoyable this year. Um, then, April Zachary, the junior varsity coach, reviewed their season and introduced her players. Um, just want to send you guys a little bit. Next is Miss Ava Bell, also a scholar athlete. Uh, Makaya Williams. Then Coach Steph Morgan reviewed their season and introduced each player and announced their awards for the year. Good health and fair officials to win it all. We had two season ending injuries that hurt us in death, losing a very important role player and an all state player, and losing two JV starters that would have been. The most cherished awards are those made by the team, and here they are. The Fighting Heart Award goes to the player who the team just felt just had the Fighting Heart all the time. Uh, on the court, off the court, just, just, just did it, gave it all they had and brought every grit, that, every piece of uh, grit that her, their body could bring, and uh, Lamaya Lott was almost a unanimous choice for Fighting Heart. <laughs> We have a whatever it takes award, and, and this is a player that, again, just steps up. Yeah, yes, ma'am, I'll, I'll do that. You want me to play guard? You want me to play coast now? You want me to run the bus and get something? Uh, these, these kind of players, you just, they just can't do without on your team. And it was a, a tie for the votes this year, and goes to Kristen Marsh and Zario Green. Both of them would come, come to me during the game or any time, and if somebody was doing too much for on us, either one of them would come up and say, I want her, let me guard her, uh, so they could get the stops on them. They usually did. Uh, the best offensive player for this year, voted on by the team, was Anaya Thomas. And defense wins championships, and the best defensive player on the team, voted by our teammates, was Angel Kelly. <laughs> and the MVP, voted on by her teammates, most valuable player, is Ariel Green. And then the seniors made a final thank you to everybody. And as is the tradition, the Pantherettes close their banquet with a school song.
It's springtime here in Texas, and that means Duncanville Panther baseball right here on Duncanville Weekly News and the Panther Dugout Show. The Panther Dugout Show brings us updates and highlights of the past few games and a peek ahead to the Panthers' next games. The Panther Dugout Show is brought to us by Jane's Memorial Chapel, the Pope Financial Group of Raymond James, by Leon Miller Commercial Properties, Singla Dental, Chubby's Family Restaurant on Cockle Hill, and by the Wolverton Company. And now, with the Panther Dugout Show, here's John with all the highlights. Hello, Duncanville baseball fans, and welcome to the Panther Dugout Show. Well, the Panthers are off and running and have played about half their season already due to the weather and, and other stuff. So, Let's get right to all their highlights. It's one of the most frustrating openings to a DHS baseball season in years as the weather completely changed the early non-district season. The Panthers won their first three games played in Frisco and Carrollton, beating Frisco Heritage 3-2, then Dallas W.T. White 1-0, and then Kaufman, 9-6. to six. With three games in two days, pitching had to go deep, and the TCA Addison beat the Panthers 19-10, to 10, but the Panthers bounced back and beat Marshall 6-3. to three. The Waxahachie Tournament was moved to Corsicana, where the Panthers lost to Euless Trinity 3-2, to two. then to Bryant, Arkansas 4-1. They beat Waxahachie in Corsicana 3-2 before dropping an 8-0 loss to Corsicana. Finally, the Panthers get back on schedule with a doubleheader at Euless Trinity on Saturday. Adam Ojica is on the bump, and in the first game, Nick Chavez singles to center with the... Panthers trailing four to one. Then Hector Crone unloads to give the Panthers only a four to three deficit. But we go to the top of the seventh with the Panthers still trailing. Have the bases loaded, two outs, and Nick is at the plate for a wild pitch run. But flies out to center to end the game with Trinity winning 7-6. to six. Chubby's Family Restaurant on Cockle Hill at Skyline is your full-service restaurant for Duncanville. Open from 6 to 9, Monday through Thursdays, till 10 p.m. Fridays and Saturdays, they feature traditional American cuisine. They offer takeout and delivery and are one of the very best catering restaurants in the area. Call 972-298-1270 and find out for yourself. Game two, of course, followed game one. It's the sixth game in three days for the Panthers, so pitching is short. Elias Laverio starts for the Panthers, who are the home team in this game. And then trailing one to nothing in the bottom of the second, Adrian Carter and Hector are on base when Noah Martel singles in one of them. Then, with Elias at the plate, a bad throw to second, and Noah is tagged out, but a run scores before they can get the ball back in, so it's 2-1 to one after two innings. Later, with a runner on third, Hector singles to left to plate run number three. But we go to the bottom of the fifth, trailing 13-3, to three, with the bases loaded and two outs when Ray Harmillo fouls out 
to end it. Final, Trinity 13 and the Panthers 3 as the Panthers are now 5-6. and six. Singla Dental, your hometown dental office, is proud sponsors of our DHS athletes and the Panther Dugout Show on Duncanville Weekly News. Singla Dental offers convenient, extended hours, and same-day appointments are available. Located at 541 West Wheatland with a website of www.singladental.com and the telephone number of 972-298-4677. That's Singla Dental. It has to be the biggest secret in the Metroplex. This high school baseball tournament, the Drew Medford Memorial, was on the weekend with 16 teams at four different sites. And Thursday, the Panthers played Fort Worth Pascal at Fort Worth Pascal. Junior Nick Flores is on the mound for the Panthers. It was a warm but very windy day. It's the top of the six, and the Panthers trail two to nothing when Nick hits a line drive out of the park to lead off the inning, but that was all in the sixth. It's do or die in the top of the seventh, and Hector leads off. Getting hit with a pitch, and Edward Ramirez runs for him. Nick Chavez walks, and Edward goes to second. Then Adrian delivers with a base hit to left field, scoring Edward to make it two to two. Then Adam sacrifices the runners to second and third. Noah grounds to third. And a wide throw home plates Nick. To make it three to two, Panthers. Then Nick grounds to deep second base, scoring Adrian to make it four to two Panthers. With Noah now on third, Devin hits a fly ball to right, and Noah makes the good slide at home to score to make it five to two. Then Ray Jaramillo singles to left to plate Nick. And it's 6-2 Panthers going to the bottom of the seventh. Mark Ibera is on the mound to close it, and he does, striking out this last batter, and the Panthers win this one 6-3. to three. Leon Miller Commercial Properties is a proud sponsor of the Panthers Dugout Show on Duncanville Weekly News. As he enjoys helping to promote our DHS athletes as no one else is, Leon owns office and retail space in the heart of Duncanville on Main Street. If you're looking for a convenient, accessible, and well-kept space to rent, call Leon at 972-709-7181. He'll fix you up. On Friday, a doubleheader back at Pasco. And the first game is against Fort Worth Country Day. And it's still very windy coming in from left field. We go to the fourth with the Panthers trailing seven to nothing. And Nick leads off, drawing a base on balls. And Edwards runs for him. Then Adrian walks. Then Nick. Grounds to first, but nobody is covering to load the bases. Noah. Grounds to shortstop, but a bad throw to first. Plates Edward and Adrian to make it 7-2. to two. 
Elias draws a walk to reload the bases. And then Devin gets hit by a pitch. And this scores Nick, and it's 7-3. to three. Ray grounds to second, and when it's mishandled, he's safe on first, and Noah scores, and it's 7-4. to four. Hector is next, and he hits a rocket to left to score Devin and Nick, and it's 7-6. to six. Adrian rounds the ball to third base, and he beats it out to score Ray and tie the game at seven apiece, going to the bottom of the fourth. Country Day scored a run in their fourth. So it's eight to seven, going to the top of the fifth. And leading off, Noah ties it with a big home run to right. So going to the bottom of the fifth with time expired, it's eight apiece. But Country Day scored in their fifth to end it. Final, Country Day nine and the Panthers eight in the second game of the Drew Medford Memorial Tournament. Ulyss L.D. Bell was next for the Panthers at Pascal in their third game. And Hector started on the mound. We move to the third with no score. And with one out, Devin singles to left. And then on the 14th pitch to him, (laughs) Ray walks. And Mario runs for him. When David walks, it loads the bases. Hector slashes a single to center to plate Devin and Mario. Then Nick walks to reload the bases. Adrian gets hit by a pitch, and that plates David. And after two and a half, it's three to nothing Panthers. L.D. Bell scored four runs in their third to lead four to three, and we go to the sixth with that score. With one away, Noah walks, and Mario runs for him. Adam hits it to the left side and reaches, and Mario goes to third. And then Ray walks to load the bases. <coughs> David grounds to a drawn in infield, and when they can't handle it, Mario scores, and it's tied at four. Then Hector smashes the ball down the left field line to score Mario, but David is out of the plate. And the Panthers lead six to four after five and a half. In the sixth, with time expired, Bell has runners on and two outs, and this great catch by David in left field ended this rally. And the game. Panthers win 6-4 to four and go 2-1 and one in this tournament. The Panther Dugout Show is sponsored by the Wolverton Company, serving Duncanville, Southwest Dallas area for over 78 years. Wolverton has been a proud sponsor of Duncanville Weekly News since their day one in 1991. From H.W. to Thomas to Keith to Matthew, Wolverton provides the best heating and cooling and air conditioning service there is. Call them at 972-296-COOL. That's 972-296-2665. Jane's Memorial Chapel is the only family-owned funeral home in Duncanville and is proud to offer caring and dedicated services from familiar friends. Rick James and his family, the owners of Jane's Memorial Chapel and Funeral Home, 
have served Duncanville area families in their time of loss since 1998. A beautiful and spacious chapel is offered and Jane's serves all cemeteries. When it comes to finding people you can trust in a time of need, you can turn to Jane's Memorial Chapel. No one else knows families better. 811 South Cockrell Hill in Duncanville. Then on Saturday morning at Mansfield Summit, the Panthers played their fourth and last game in the tournament against Keller Fossil Ridge. And this was one to forget. Adam started on the mound for the Panthers and gave up four runs in the first. Then trailing nine to nothing in the fourth, Adrian comes in. The Panthers get their first and only runner on base in their fourth on this walk by Mark. Senior James Hardgrove came in to finish it out. Final, Keller Fossil Ridge 10 and the Panthers nothing. On a good note, the Panthers center fielder, Devin McPhail, was awarded a $2,000 college scholarship grant by the tournament. Each show... We have a play of the week, and this time it happened in the Drew Medford Memorial Tournament against Fort Worth Country Day when trailing 8-7 to seven going to the last inning, leading off, junior first baseman Noah Martell hits a rocket home run over the right field fence to tie the game at 8. And that's why it's the play of the week. The Play of the Week is brought to us by the Pope Financial Group of Raymond James. For all your investment needs, call John at 972-780-0533 or come by 222 East Wheatland right here in Duncanville. It's the Pope Financial Group of Raymond James. The Panthers are into their district action now, and here are their upcoming games. <laughs> Finally, a home game and the start of District 7 6A play. Tuesday, the 13th, Irving is here. And then on Friday, the Panthers are in Irving. All district games this year start at 7 p.m. Carrollton Creekview will be here on Saturday, the 17th, for an 11 a.m. non district tilt. And then on Tuesday, March the 20th, the Panthers will be at Cedar Hill, followed by the Longhorns being at Bob Rombach Field on Friday, March the 23rd. We'll be back on March the 26th, on or before, with highlights of all those games and more. Before we close, don't forget the flavor of Duncanville is March the 15th, and hope to see you there. As we close, let's see more sights and sounds from the City of Champions, and we'll see you March the 26th and making all District 7 6A first team was Handy Gusters. <laughs> the juniors on the team, uh, one of the most important people to me has been a great person, assistant to have around, was Christina Washington, our manager. <laughs> the other juniors on the team, making all District 7 6A honorable mention, Kenley Brown. <laughs> making all District 7 6A second team, Angel Kelly. <laughs> Other juniors on the team are Lauren Lust.
JVC and the TGCA and, and the All Metro and, and lots of them here don't start coming out until two weeks from now. But we moved this way for early because we need to we need to get going. So there, there's a lot of awards aren't here back, aren't out yet, but Zay has racked up a bunch of um, Zay Zay. Uh, what do you say, though? You've been out, huh? What do you say? <laughs> Granny, have anything said? I love you. Um, <laughs> we, we love her. Uh, but she's, she's special, and we will miss her. Uh, Zaria Queen made all District 7 6 8 first team. She made all District 7 6 8 MVP unanimously. She made uh, McDonald's All American, and she made the Jordan Classic All American. Thank you.